Hello everyone, and welcome back to Freemore, my Sims 2 Build a City Challenge. We were here with Talia Whitby, and Squire is just digging away outside. He is a stray. He does not belong here. Please go away, sir. Um. <sighs> this dog. Okay. <laughs> um... So, to get us started, I'm so organized now, you guys. I have a list of, like, things to do at the beginning of a round, and I have, like, all the goals written down and all sorts. It's so much more organized, you don't even know. Um, okay, so, we have her traits. Computer whiz, hopeless romantic, over-emotional, couch potato, and she also doesn't like womb rats, which is not an actual trait that I can put in her inventory. Um, and then we're going to pay her taxes and, okay, so I have recorded the bonus episodes with the city hall and the, um, the adding counties, but I, they took longer to edit. They're taking longer to edit than I was expecting. So you won't see them until after this posts. Um, let's go in somewhere with that. Oh, I had originally thought 8,000 was enough for, uh, the city to contribute to the the town hall but it was not they're about i wrote it down hold on that's not the right there it is um they're a little over two thousand short well three thousand short because i want them to actually have money left over um and they have almost exactly eight thousand so uh i I am going to have Talia and uh, Eudora and Claire contribute um, 1500 each, I think. Um, so add 1000 add 500 and then 100 for her regular taxes. You need to stop painting for a second. Come on. And send it to George. So at least now I know about how much things cost to build. Um, because I didn't really pay attention when I was building their houses. Yeah, I have a better idea now. Um, for future, like when Talia is going to start opening businesses off of her lot. Um, because her lifetime want is to own five top level businesses. I don't know how realistic that is for her to do. Although my Sims have, you know, really long lifespan. So maybe, um, so, but I did add a bunch of plots. I did like, you can't really see it. Um, it's a little better. There we go. <laughs> um, Expanded her garden some, gave her another table to sell things on. Although actually, so it not it's not too crowded. I might reorganize this a little bit. And then put this over here. You know what might be nice? A little sign. I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere. And decorative. One of the many things I need to do at some point is like put my decorative stuff into collections because who the heck knows? It's like a sandwich board thing. I mean, that's kind of what I want, but not with English on it. This is not a very good, this is not the one I was thinking of. This one. Yeah, because this is from Sims 3. And that looks very... It's kind of big. I swear I had one that was smaller than that. But this might be the one I was thinking of. Oh, I think... Yeah, that, but that also has English on it. Why? Why? try to avoid I try to stick with Simlish as much as possible I do make exceptions here and there though um oh yeah 
I downloaded like food clutter and stuff, like kitchen clutter from Stevie? No, Lena Shuri. Lena Shuri. I think Dee Dee made it like usable or eatable or something. I know I downloaded some stuff from Dee Dee recently. Um, okay. This is good. It's very farmer's markety looking. I like it. Oh, terrain paint would be a good idea for a little bit of... Where is... I want like... Yeah, dry lawn. Very small. I just want it to look like well-traveled. I think this is already... Oh yeah, this is... This is the... I apparently already had terrain paint over here with that with that on it. Um, let's undo that. Hmm. No, I want something that looks like worn. This is a little too worn looking, but it'll do. Actually, in case there ends up being a long line, we'll face that that way. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I still have a painting up for sale. Two paintings, actually. Oh, I don't think that one is marked for sale. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I'm sorry, buddy, but you gotta go. And you need to fill this back in. And then throw these away. Um, one, oh, one thing that uh, a new trait mod I downloaded for over emotional is that your needs contribute to your mood more if you're over emotional. Um, it tends to more compound if you have other traits that affect your mood, like Night Owl or Loves the Outdoors or something. But, hmm. That's glitched um but we'll see if it how it affects her mood let's just have her there we go i just wanted her to clear it oh no now it's gonna do the same thing no it's actually going down this time there we go and she's not gonna write in her diet oh she's not even tired that's troublesome we'll have her plant stuff. Um, okay, so plant. Eggplants. I feel very started Valley making these like very organized little plots. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bath and then, well, Jody took a bath. <laughs> uh, have her eat a little bit and then go to bed because she's finally tired enough to sleep some. And that way she'll be able to get up in time to open her store. What, oh, this is on, dang it. Turn off, you're the only person in this household. There we go. Okay, the sun has risen. It is spring. Her plants all are very unhappy because I planted them while it was still cold out. <laughs> um, okay, so she doesn't have a lot to sell. But 
We just want people to like show up. So let's have her go use the restroom super quick. And hopefully you'll get to see some of the very nice townies that um, that I created. There's air. Oh yeah, and let's look at the business uh, information. I only have one customer loyalty star because I think air actually is a negative one. Where are my customers? Here we go. Oh no, it's Eudora that has a negative one. Oh look, a townie! A townie, hello! This is Audrey Parsons. She's cute as heck. Actually, she's the same color as is George now that I look closely. Um, so actually, <gasps> they have chemistry, you guys. They have chemistry. I mean, at least, okay. Let's, uh, I don't know if she's gonna appreciate the appreciating. Uh, where's just like talk? Okay, talk chat. Hmm. <laughs> well, then, Nan. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. She's just introducing herself about she with kissing. Sure. Please, I would like to kiss you. I mean, <laughs> tennis is good. Okay, Air's buying that. Oh, another, another townie. Hello, sir. So there are six adult townies and two children townies. I'm gonna add them eight at a time because um, that's how many people you can fit in a household. Uh, I'm gonna add strays. I'll add another townie too, just cause it's easier to do that than move the dogs and cats into a household and then make them strays. But anyways, this is Blake Vargas. He's kind of fun looking. I like him. Um, also, all three of the girls I added are gay or bi so that they can uh, date Talia. I think actually all three ended up rolling gay, if I'm remembering right. Um, just without me doing it, like just doing the gender preference thing without uh, ah. choosing it myself. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to the trees. He would. Okay. Um, bring up these customers. She at least has a bronze cashier badge, so it won't take her stupidly long. Come on. There we go. Okay, you need to like come talk to some plants. Oh, hello, Charlie. That's nice. I don't know what he was talking about, but it's fine. Um. Mm. More townies. I know I like more than doubled the population, I think. Or, no, it almost doubled the population with all these townies. <laughs> um, but it's nice to have a little more amount of people around. Okay. Healthy is good enough. I just don't want these plants dying on me. <laughs> More! Everyone's walking by today. Hello, friend. Um. Oh no! Oh no! Not a negative loyalty star! Oh no, it didn't go all the way to a star. That's good. Hi, yes, sales. Where are we? 
cut now. Say goodbye. Uh, appreciate. No, there's no. Oh, I guess she because she's not looking at it anymore. Grumble. Okay, I'm closing the business so that because I have literally one thing for sale right now. No, why you're crying? Oh, because your aspiration's so low. Um. Well, it's not my fault that you have crappy wants. Um. Okay. Uh, let's do macro garden. Oh, she's in a terrible mood. It's like, why does she keep stopping? It's because she's exhausted and grumpy. Um, okay, we just need you to pull the weeds. I think everyone else has been watered. Take a bath, use the bathroom, eat a food, pull the weed real quick, and then call. And talk to Audrey. Uh, she had her meet Violet. I don't think that she did. We will figure that out later. Okay, we're just going to send her to bed because she's exhausted. I wouldn't mind some small outdoor lights. Just... So I can sort of see how the plants are doing at night, but I don't know. No, I don't like it. Maybe like, these seem too fancy. This is what I want. Um, I don't know where the best place to put them would be. Maybe just one there, and one there. Just so I can actually see these at night. Okay, getting up at dawn. Only rolling marginally better wants, but flirting is promising. Use the restroom. I wouldn't mind getting her a little pile of clothes to change so she can change out of her pajamas. Just like let's put the phone. Oh no, there's a like a window here or something. I think this is fine. And we'll have our change into every day. Everything's healthy. So she actually doesn't need to do that. Um, let's just have her paint. Because she really needs to have more than one thing for sale. I feel like these all have probably low grow times, which is not promising, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, she won't just finish this one painting, please. Okay, call, will you, what is your relationship with her after talking a little bit? 43, I think, do it girl. Oh. 
There's not really anything for them to do on the community lot, though. I'm debating. Oh, I guess <laughs> the game made the decision for me. We're going to do it at home. Uh, okay. Yeah, her aspiration is not good, but she can flirt. It'll be great. Um, macro garden while we wait for Audrey. Oh, Audrey's here. Okay. Okay, you don't need to cry. Come, your aspiration's gonna be so good after this. Oh, hello, this is another really, really cute sim. Okay, actually, go say hi to her, cause she's cute. How we doing? Oh, it hasn't shown up yet. Eh? Eh, also one bolt, that's fine. Okay, flirt. No, we don't want to start with flirting. We want to start with entertain joke. Open with a joke. Where are you going? Oh my god. They're just straight into. Oh, she won't. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's good that didn't work. Please, I just wanted you to tell a joke. <laughs> oh dear, we've got to call you Dora because she is just like not even. Is it? Oh, it's. L That's why. <laughs> okay. They just cuddled. Okay. You didn't have to get in your underwear for that. They're just going straight. They're they're hitting it off. I like it. I mean, I guess they're on a date. Um, talk about nature because she's really into her businessy stuff. She wants a customer to gain a star. You can't do these other things. That's silly. Oh, they're both fortune sims. Be tickled, have a pillow fight. Are these even things you can do right now? Yeah, tickle. Play a pillow fight. Because we need this date to like... Please go well. Tickle, please. There we go. Flirt, hug, okay. Flirt. And... Hug. Gina Way and a donut pain. She has a crush. Oh, and she wants to kiss her. And Talia's still just thinking about business. We'll do a little kiss. That's cute. She wants to get a backup and wants to dance. I thought maybe Talia would like refresh her wants after like the date thing goes up, but I guess not. All right. Um. Yay! They like each other. I'm excited. Ooh, Talia's true passion is music and dance. Interesting. I'm like, they seem really compatible because they're both fortune sims. So Audrey would also want to um, uh, oh jeez. Look at that neglect. Audrey would also want to, like, help out with, like, the gardeny stuff. Um. Okay. 
how bad is this? Okay, everything's still healthy. Um, I don't want them to have a bad date though, so let's do... I should have had them go to a communal actually. Even if they're just not really doing anything, it would still like not, their lot wouldn't be going. Flirt, flirted with, okay. We'll keep going with the flirting. Let's go sweet talk. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> they do only have one chemistry star though, so I don't know how I feel about them. Just like if they had like two or th mm. three is the max, I think. Um, then I would be more about them just like immediately moving in together, but. I think they're going to want to take it a little slow. Because Talia always kind of struck me as someone who takes things slow in the romance department. Um, just want this to be a dream date. Just to solidify their connection. But Talia also needs to go garden. <laughs> Back grab, tickle. Okay, so we can do tickle, play... <laughs> Talia is so stubborn. She's like, I want to dine out or nothing. Uh, slow dance, make out. We still don't have make out available. Slow dance should be available. Yeah. Kiss, hug. I think I can just smooch to get that. Oh, no. Ah! Uh. You've been kissing all sorts all over the place. Fine then. Let's try a regular kiss. Interesting. I don't know why she pulled away from the slow dance one. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um. Oh, okay. Thank you for being in your underwear at least. I feel... Awkward. Sometimes. Oh, they're cute. Oh, jeez! Try for a baby, are you kidding me? <laughs> you just met! <laughs> You've known each other for three months. Maybe six. Guys. You heard that, didn't you? I don't know which one of them is pregnant, but I did learn my lesson from Claire and Eudora, which is, where's the adjuster? What? I don't see it. Oh, is it like, did I hide it under a trash can or something stupid? Yep, there it is. Um, so... Pregnancy is allowed, it doesn't say. Uh, oh, I just realized I did not set my, uh, townies, I knew I was forgetting something. I did not set my townies risky woohoo chance and, um, Ideal number of children. Totally forgot to do that. Um, so I will do that between episodes. Um, what we want to do is do a pregnancy scanner. Okay, so Tali is pregnant. So we are going to temporarily um, can I change it? Okay, I guess since she's a townie, she doesn't have token stats. But if she moves in, then, which, I mean, for Talia to run a business and have a baby, I feel like Audrey definitely needs to move in. Um, I 
But anyways, sorry, I totally lost track. Okay, when Andrea moves in, I will turn off pregnant. I will turn on her birth control thing, so that uh, they aren't both pregnant at the same time. Because I can't do that with every lesbian couple. I just can't. <laughs> um. Very cute. Talia's, oh God, yeah. Okay, so Talia needs to go garden and then I think I'm, we're gonna ask Audrey to move in tomorrow because my, my, re my reasoning behind this, what I'm garden, okay. My reasoning behind this is because Talia, like pregnancy is so rough in this game. And Talia, if she's in gardening is very hard on your body in this game. She's not gonna be able to do both of those things and like run the business side of things. So I think that they are going to um like Aud Audrey is going to sorry, I keep losing train train of thought. I just wanted to offer to move in to help out at least uh, when the baby is small and then I think she'll just end up staying. Did you just kick over the... Oh, she just kicked the gnome, I think. Oh, they're still on a dream date. I should probably end that. <laughs> uh, end the date. It is kind of late. Um, But I did think about... Maybe ending her pregnancy, but it did see that it was um, a try for baby, not risky. So I think it makes more sense for them to keep it. Um, wasn't expecting them to just... And also, like, we're trying to populate the town. So I think it's good to get more, more people in. More kiddos. You're very. Friendly. Oh, is this. Okay, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to leave. There you go. 